I'm Rafaela and I have ADHD. And I'm Rafaela's dad. My son was diagnosed with ADHD at the age of nine. I'm a parent of a teenager with ADHD. My name is Rowan and I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was nine. And I'm Rowan's mom. So do you remember what your first symptoms were? I was very hyperactive, I remember that. I had a lot of trouble focusing, got in trouble a bit in class. My son was eight years old when we first noticed symptoms. A lot of them were academic, but there were also behavioral symptoms uh, such as impulsivity and yelling out. When my son was nine years old, he started leaving things. We started getting frustrated that he was just forgetful until one day, one of his teachers called me to say that she thought Ben might have ADHD. That we were getting calls from her teachers. So I kind of was on to the idea that she might have it. I didn't know how severe it was until we really sat down with a pediatric neurologist. When I heard that she had ADHD, I think I felt relieved and really we just wanted to make sure that we knew what would help her the most. Our pediatrician was the one who officially diagnosed our son. The pediatrician wanted to put him on medicine right away, but I was a little hesitant, so for a while I put it off. You know, this idea of her going on medication, it's scary because you hear side effects. In the end, we tried the medications. It took a lot of experimentation before we got it right. Kids with ADHD can be hard to manage and a lot of extra work and can be very tiring. So make sure that you can give yourself a break and find ways to relax. I think the first thing is uh, not to panic. And there is help out there. There's a lot of help. I joined a support group of moms who also had kids with ADHD. It helped me to be able to speak to parents about what I'm going through in everyday life and what it's like raising a child with ADHD. I think one of the best things for me was when I realized that I had friends and I had my sister and we could talk to each other and we could commiserate. I wish I had not hesitated as long to put him on medicine. It was really a game changer for him and for everybody around him. I wish I knew and could have been stronger to just say there's no normal and not normal. There's just the ways that different brains work. There's something in their brain that keeps them always being creative. It's that spark in the beginning. It's that excitement. You know, having gone through this journey with my son and all of the struggles, and now he's in college, and he's doing great. So just because your child doesn't fit some sort of mold that you may have in your head or that society has in its head, don't worry about it. They're going to be fabulous.